Okay, what I'm going to show you is to put these new style mortise locks in a door that's already got the hole cut for a regular lock. As you can see, we've already mortised this one out for the lock to go in. Okay, in a minute what we'll do is we'll cut a piece to go in here, but it's got to have a dado cut in it for that lock to slide up in there. Rather than doing two little pieces, that it's eventually going to come loose. This one's set up ready to go. show you how to set them up. your lock you want to make sure the latch is going the right way mark where the where the strikes plate's going to go okay you can see where the strike plate's going to go then you push the, the door with your latch. Set it where it's going to go. Open it up. Mark. Okay, now you want to mark the top and the bottom. Top bottom, transfer it over to here, it's going to be starting at the top of the old latch and then of course it will go down to there. And then we'll cut this part out, cut this part out, so let this slide up in there. And then we'll have the right height for the latch. before you start. So we're ready to go. Make sure everything's tight.
is this block and you want this width, the width of the lock, so that you've got a little bit of fillet on this back side to kind of hold these two sides together. Remember what I was saying? We left that, and as you can kind of get a little bit of a three-dimensional on it, you can see what I'm talking about. See, we just barely come in there and get the back of it. You can see what I'm talking about. Slide that in. Take the lock. Set it like it's supposed to go now so there won't be any guessing. See, there's just enough to hold that tight against the back. Put you a couple of screws in there. Okay, we got our piece in there. This way it won't be moving around. It gives us plenty of something to uh, mud over or whatever you use. What I like to do is pound the glue first, let it set, come back, sand it, and then use some epoxy fill or something that's really strong, and that'll hold it in place. And then by the time you sand it, put your scushion on there, it all disappears. Okay, you don't want to put too much panel glue so that you uh, glue in your lock. You know, you want to be able to check, make sure. And if everything's fine, just leave it alone and go to the next one.